Kayla, our daughter, is now 11 years old. When she was born, everything seemed normal, and uh, when she was probably about 12 to 18 months old, we started to see a few uh, significant delays in development uh, begin to happen, but didn't know what to really think about it. And at the time, we had um, the lovely diagnosis, there's something wrong with your child neurologically, and we have no idea what it is. That began our new journey with Texas Children's. And uh, told us the diagnosis. Yeah, I'll never forget that call. We got a diagnosis of Rett syndrome. Probably it was within, I don't know, eight hours <laughs> after getting the phone call. Did you? That Huda was right. on the phone to the house. She spoke to us about the future. And it was, it was never a future filled with depression. It was a future filled with hope. We've gone from a more accurate diagnosis, earlier diagnosis, proper genetic counseling, to the point where we're contemplating new interventions. In our lab, we're taking two totally different directions. One direction at the molecular level, which means you explore pathways that you can hopefully one day come with a small molecule that will treat and make a difference. But we're also taking a totally different approach, which is we call at the network level, where you actually modify the brain network, where you can change the network and make it more receptive to learning. The thing I love the most, when you come to work every day, you don't know what to expect. That's a career in research. You really have no idea what the day will bring. Many times, it's disappointing, nothing happens, but it's that one day you come and there is an exciting discovery that's opening a path that hopefully can be helpful. Huda is the person who discovered the gene for Rett syndrome. So without Huda's work in discovering that gene, there would be no designated test for Rett syndrome. We wouldn't have necessarily been able to pinpoint what the problem was that early. 50% of Rett syndrome children never walk, and we were walking by the age of three. For what Kayla has, she's a real superstar, and a lot of it had to do, I think, with being able to get to the problem early. She has really inspired me to be a critical-minded scientist, but also a generous one. And in fact, for her, success in science means building relationships. And I've really learned how to cultivate those traits in working with my own mentees and also collaborators. She is, first of all, the most modest, kindest person you know, honestly, that I have met in a long, long time. And I think what makes her particularly special is she cares tremendously about the role of women in medicine, women in science. And she knows the difficulties that women face, have faced, probably will continue to face, at least for a while. And she's doing everything she can uh, to help promote women in science and medicine. If I had to describe what makes Huda tick, I would say her passion for finding a cure. She really wants that cure to be found very soon, and I think she's on the right path towards it. I feel deeply honored and feel really excited about sharing some of my experiences with the students because that's something I feel I can impart one or two ideas that would help um, give back. I would be so grateful.